I'm Amanda, also known as I Talk Apple, and today I'm cleaning out my old MacBook Air to give to my mom. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process so you'll know how to prepare an old Mac to sell or give away or recycle. The first thing you want to do is deauthorize your computer from iTunes. You get five authorizations and you don't want a computer you're no longer using to be taking up one of those five authorizations. So open iTunes, click on store, and go ahead and deauthorize that computer. You'll need to enter your password for your iTunes account and you'll get a confirmation. The most important part of this whole process is probably backing up your data. To do this, you need some sort of external hard drive. If you don't have an external hard drive, number one, shame on you because you should be backing up your data regularly in case something goes wrong. And number two, I'll have links to some good affordable uh, storage solutions in the description, so check those out. Once you have your hard drive and it's connected to your computer, you have two options for backing up your data. You can do a full-on backup using Time Machine, or you can manually select the files that you want to save and drag and drop them from your computer to the hard drive. If you just bought a new computer, I recommend doing the full Time Machine backup. That way you can then connect your hard drive to the new computer and either copy everything back over or manually select the files that you think are important. But either way, you'll have everything from the old computer saved on that hard drive. Since I'm just giving my old MacBook Air to my mom and I've already been using a new computer for over a year, I'm just going to manually save some important files like photos and documents, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. The first thing I'm going to do is select my external hard drive and make a new folder called Old MacBook Air, just so I know that all these files are from my old MacBook Air. I actually already went through my entire iPhoto library and saved all of my best pictures from there into another folder, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that folder into a folder on the external hard drive. But for those of you who want to save your entire iPhoto library, which I do recommend if you have a large enough external hard drive, which you probably do, here's how to do it. All you have to do is drag and drop. Go to your pictures folder on the old computer, find the file called iPhoto library, and drag it to like a pictures folder in your external hard drive. It could take a really long time to copy because you probably have a lot of photos, so that's how manual backup works. You just drag the files from the old computer into the hard drive and wait for them to copy. Now we need to log out of iCloud to make sure there's no personal information from iCloud stored on the computer anymore. To do this, open up System Preferences, click on iCloud, and go ahead and sign out of your account. The Mac's going to keep prompting you and be like, are you sure? Are you sure? It's going to delete all these files from your computer. And that's okay because we're deleting files anyway. So just log out of your iCloud account. Now it's finally time to erase and reinstall Mac OS X, and these steps vary depending on what version of Mac OS X you're running. So click the Apple logo, then About This Mac, and you'll see a number. 10.9 is Mavericks, 10.8 is Mountain Lion, and 10.7 is Lion. My computer is running Mountain Lion, so if you're running Mountain Lion, you can just, you know, continue following this tutorial, but I'll have links to support pages from Apple in the description for the earlier operating systems. Before I go into the specific steps of erasing your hard drive, brief note on security. I'm actually not erasing a hard drive, I'm erasing a solid state drive because I'm using a MacBook Air. If you have a MacBook Air or you're using a Retina MacBook, uh, you're also erasing a solid state drive, so you're not going to have the option to securely erase the solid state drive. More information about securely erasing solid state drives is going to be available in the description if you click on that life hacker link. Here's how to erase and reinstall OS X. The first thing you need to do is restart your Mac. Once your Mac restarts and that gray loading screen appears, hold down Command R until you get a few options. Make sure you're connected to the internet and then select Disk Utility and hit Continue. That opens Disk Utility. Now you can choose the hard drive or solid state drive that you want to erase. In my case, that's Macintosh HD. You do that on the left-hand side. And click on the Erase tab. Under Format, make sure that Mac OS Extended is selected. And then click Erase. Now you can quit Disk Utility and choose to reinstall OS X, continue, and wait a while. After it downloads, your computer will restart and then it'll actually install. Once it installs, Command Q will turn off your computer so that when the next person turns it on, they'll have the whole setup guide. 
that's really all there is to it. Leave a comment below with any questions you have or video suggestions. Like this video if it helped you out or if you just thought it was a good video. And follow me on Twitter at italkapple for other types of updates. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.